through. Ooh, pull up, I'm snatching your boot. Ooh, all of you niggas is hard until you see Fetty hop out with the two. Ooh, me and my oldies, we lit. Ayy, C and B fucking your bitch. Ayy, right from my bros, I can't fuck with. Hi, y'all. Hey. Welcome back to another episode of, of Polly Talk. What? Daily Polly Talk. Daily Polly Talk. Daily Daily Talk. Well, hey, I never. Polly Daily Talk. I never, I never captioned it like that. I always just put Polly Talk. Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Polly Daily Talk. <laughs> All right. So, what are we talking about today? I just got pulled into this with not knowing what the hell. This is our first right, episode so with Steph. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely my first time doing the Polly Daily Talk. Mm-hmm. So what what have you guys I sent you your phone. What have you guys been um talking about in the last couple of poly days? Yeah, also different. Yeah, they're all different. We were talking about uh we did one with like me and Rose talking about what did we talk about? Like men and women and how men and women are. Just like we just kept talking about just random stuff. One was about baddies, one was about uh, Baby and Rose did one about uh, finding a sister wife and like what they like look for in a sister wife and stuff like that. Okay, Babe got a DM. It says, bro, first off, congratulations. I have looked at your page during my search of getting more information about the polygamous relationship and marriage. How did you find goddess with the same mindset and goals? Oh. Do no, no searching. <laughs> it just came to me. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Such a lie. That's a that's lie. True. Like that's true. Like the best thing uh, for a poly relationship, isn't that like? In the sense, she probably was lying. <laughs> then you go to the fact that you went to. The, it's what I wanted. The general. But it wasn't you like see what, his page and stuff. No, he just swept up on one of my stuff. But that was when I started talking to you. Oh. It's very hard to find women with the same like mind mine you know we all think differently but we want the same thing so as long as you know everyone that's in the poly wants the same things and has the same goals that's how it all falls in together nobody in this world has the same mind we can think alike and we can learn but we're all different in our own ways so it's all basically you know everybody wanting the same thing knowing what what you want what are you here for Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Yeah. And yeah. I think I think some of it has to do with, like, the man and what he wants in order to get, like, in order to get multiple females on the same page and their common interest is you, you have to have, like, some type of, like, I don't know, like, authority and, like, just stand your ground on what you want, how you want the relationship to be, and, like, I don't know, communicate that. Yeah. Right. I agree, I agree. Alright. Do you find it hard to balance your love and time with your queens? How do you think? What do you think? Balancing time and love? I mean, I don't think it's hard balancing love. I'm a very affectionate person, you know, so that's one thing I know how to do is give affection. And I also require a lot of affection. So, mm, to me, it's not. I mean, yeah and I think it's it's different for us too because we all live together so it's like some people who are dating sometimes when they like depending on the dynamic of like um your relationship and stuff some people date all together how we are some people have like they're dating separately so balancing the time with each other is a little difficult but I don't think we have that problem well I know we don't have that problem yeah, especially because we all live together. Maybe it would be a little different if we didn't live together or we're in separate places. Then, yeah, I mean, that's I would find that kind of difficult trying to balance out three different women or, you know, mm. like, today I got to spend time with you and tomorrow with you. And, and, uh, I don't know how that works. And ever since we've been in a poly, we've always, like, when we started this poly, we automatically moved in together. Des came in like a month literally being in the poly, so we never had that issue. We're all there together. We, you know, if you want to love on somebody, you go love on somebody. You want to 
be with the other person and love on that person go love on the person they're in the same household so, yeah right it was not really that difficult i mean you no know, you only make it difficult if you don't know how to love everyone or give love to more than just one person some people are just used to giving love to one person and being that one person's everything or that person being their everything so yeah and that's fine for a while because <laughs> like you know like after especially if like you're living together if you're not living together it is harder to build a connection with like maybe the other partner like if if like let's say a guy is like dating two women he wants to like make it like polyamorous or however he wants to make it because the way that the message is like asking us how we do it so the way we do it it, it came pretty easy to us because we all blended pretty well and it was easy for us to like all be together all the time and there's not really like a a conflict mm -hmm. but with other people if we're not like invested in like the relationship as a whole it might not work out as easily as like us that's how we feel about it if you guys feel any different you guys can share your perspective in the comments and let us know how y'all feel. But um, and if you guys are in a poly or experiencing poly or or want to experience poly, um, there's a lot of different dynamics and ways that it can go about it. I feel like everything is like you kind of take control of every situation that you're in. So like the way we do things, it works for us. It may not work for other people and what they want. But I think it's all like trial and error, testing it out, knowing the people that you're in a relationship with. Well, getting to know them especially you know being in a poly relationship you're not just getting to know one person you're getting to know multiple person people mm -hmm. so most definitely get to know each and every one of your partners their do's and their don'ts and the things that they like and that's, that's very important you know because there's no point of you being in a poly relationship and you're not learning each partner you know mm -hmm. then it'll probably make like another person feels some type of way you know like oh you're giving this person more attention or blah, blah, blah. and you shouldn't be that way you know you gotta take your individual time with each person and everybody's different yeah that's like even in monogamous relationships um what's the word what's the word it starts with a c i can't think of it what do you mean like what are you trying to say like um oh my god my brain fart, brain fart. <laughs> um yeah what's that word I don't Companionship? Know. No, like, no, like, um, damn. I just said it the other day. It doesn't matter. It'll come back to me. <laughs> and that's the thing mm -hmm. about, too, nowadays. Like, people are really get, getting to know each other, you know? And I, I don't know why would you be dating and not wanting to learn your partner. You know, it's very important to learn your partner. Very, very important. It is. I think a lot of people, like, have this idea of there being so many options. So it's like, even if they do get to learn the person that they're with, they're, it's not like, it's not like an acceptance thing because they know that they can just, all right, I don't like that about you. Let me just go find somebody else to fill whatever I'm looking for. But then the next person that you go to fills that part, but they're lacking in something else. And they don't really, like... And I feel like it has a lot to do with social media, too. Social media Oof. has, like, everybody thinking that there's, like, you can just go on to the next there's and go on to the, the next sea. and go on to the next. But by the time you're on to, like, your fifth, sixth tried relationship, it's been, like, five, six years and you still have nothing. So, I don't know. It's, it's like a lot of people Compromise. Are... Compromise. That's the there word. There you go. What's the word? What's the word? Boy. Compromise. Compromise. That's the there word. There you go. He said it right That's, it. <laughs> That's the word I was trying to look for. A lot of people don't want to compromise anymore for like, you know, the people that that they mess with. It's so crazy too because I remember when Mosea was telling a few years ago, he's like, oh, you know, females don't tell you to stay with your man or tell you to work things out because you got a good man. Instead, they're trying to separate you. Like, oh, F that nigga, da -da 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 -da, this and that. He did this and he did that. But 
are you asking that person what did you do to that person to make them feel that way you know mm -hmm. is that person worth you leaving him and finding someone else you know girls don't do that nowadays and you know they'd rather just be like you know what on to the next i could find me someone bigger and better da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. and nine times out of ten they they be regretting it and doubling back to the people that they that mm -hmm. And, and, and now, else. now in society's days, like I see it with my own eyes, and it's like, wow, that's how you guys really are. Like, I mean, I understand if the person's really not worth it or just, you know, bringing you a total downhill, but if you got somebody good, even if they have certain flaws, you know, appreciate them and make it work and make things better and try mm -hmm. to fix the problem instead of running away and even social media <clears throat> social media is showing people that there's more options out there it also like has this like fake idea of what like real love quote-unquote is like people will see all this stuff on social media like on special holidays, you know, people post like, you know, Valentine's Day in the hotel room and everything nice and the gifts consistently and stuff like that. And people will post all this stuff well, that will have like other people thinking that this is all a relationship is. It's like all the good stuff. People don't ever realize like people are not going to post a bad on social media. They're not going to post like what they really go through in relationships. They're just going to show you the good stuff. So it has other people from the outside looking in thinking this is what a relationship is it's only good all the time which is why people don't really want to stick it out when the bad comes so i know that's <coughs> that's hey you. you kill me <laughs> that's you yep you never know what happens behind them closed door let me tell you <laughs> it be like that it really be like that mm -hmm. you know um i actually I was overhearing some people talk about, I don't know where I was. I think it was an event that I was working. No, I'm lying. It was at, it was at my job. I was having this conversation, you know, I was telling them, oh yeah, I'm Polly, I'm this, I'm that. And whatever, the whole conversation was about um, their sister-in-law was, had gotten married and they were basically saying how, oh, on social media, their life, is just everything anyone can ask for. Beautiful, the dinner, the going out, the loving, the this, the that. But in reality, behind those closed doors is nothing like that. Like no affection, like nothing, like just blah. You know, it just put on a show for the gram, for social media, for people to think yeah. that, you know, that's what their relationship is to make it seem all perfect. Like. You can never really truly be happy if that's how you portray your life to be and not show the good, the bad, the ugly, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's nothing wrong with like people only showing the good, but I feel like the people watching just have to know like... It's not always like that. Yeah, See, it's, it's not. And it's so funny that we're, we're touching this topic now because yesterday I was... Um, I was... Um, I was listening to a podcast. It, I believe it was the, um, the Real Talk came with Bishop something. And she was talking about how she's like, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to post, I'm going to let everybody know everything. Because, you know, normally people don't like being in other people, like don't want other people in your business. And sometimes you need people in your business to help you or to see a bigger picture, you know, like... She was saying something about, she's like, I post everything that happens on in my life, the good, the bad, the ugly, ha, you know, because all that teaches you lessons. And especially when you become so successful, like you can really sit there and talk about it and be like, look, this is how I was. I was like this and I was toxic out, you know, taking accountability of just her mistakes and everything that she had to go through to be to where she's at now. You know, why would she hide what she went through or the things that she had to go through now that she's successful? You know, it didn't it wasn't an easy road to be successful, you know, mm -hmm. and it really touched me because, you know, 
a lot of people don't really talk about their problems or it doesn't have to be at the moment that it happens it could be later on you know it's basically like giving a testimony you know i got here because of all the hardships and the good and the bad that i went through and you know sometimes things were good sometimes things were bad sometimes it was rocky it was <laughs> but you know it's the faith and it's the the positive attitude regardless of whatever is going on that gets you taking each step higher and higher and higher and higher and then you also enlighten people you know and let them know like everything is not always easy it's not always perfect you know it can be sometimes and sometimes it's just not some people don't have it easy you know to get to where they're going in life or where they've gotten you know they must have fallen 10 times got back up another 10 fell down again and then came back up 20 times you know and i think it's important for people to know like what we go through you know like i said it doesn't have to be in the moment that is happening because you know you really don't want people are already wishing bad upon you you know the people are laughing when they see you fall or they see something is not going to be like ha, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah you know like and it shouldn't be that way you know one thing that i have been doing a lot lately and getting into is praying for those who ever wish me bad wish bad upon me you know instead of me being like oh fuck that person or this and that or da -da -da -da, you know what God bless that person, Lord. Whatever that they're going through, heal them. Heal their heart, heal their mind, heal their whatever it is that's making them feel that type of way. You know, it could be the person that's making them feel that type of way. But you know what? Instead of, if you want good karma to come to you, regardless of whatever, you have to expect good and be more positive towards things. And that's what I'm kind of like, I've been journaling, I've been writing, I've been, that's what I'm I'm working on and being more positive and more understanding in certain situations when things happen. You know, like I don't wanna be, I'm normally like a person that just always talks back. Like if I don't agree with what you're saying, <laughs> like, I'm gonna argue the fact with you, like, hold up, mm -mm. Uh, just because, okay, I don't agree, I can agree to disagree with you, but you ain't gonna make me believe whatever you're saying, like, mm -hmm. you know, I'm learning to understand and not be that way, you know, like, understand it, and I may not still not agree with it, but take note of what the person is saying and see how I could fix it or make it better in the sense of, you know, understanding that person more on to what they're saying, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I just bought me a little journal too to do my like affirmations and to write down things. I've, I've been writing things down in my notes and that's how I've been keeping track of certain things. But now I got me a little journal and I'm just like in this path of just, I want to be just more positive and, you know, like I don't want to be easily angered or just, you know, just walk away from a situation if I feel like I'm already getting like too upset or too you know i'm just gonna fuck freaking pop off you know like <laughs> <laughs> and definitely writing things down writing things down that has happened to me that i've done ways that i've been you know has been helping me a lot to understand people myself you know yeah oh, i love that for you oh, thank you <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I want to be, you know what, truthfully, like I've, I've been doing a lot of praying and, and, you know, I just really want to find my purpose in life. And I'm starting to feel like, you know, my purpose in life is to be able to help other people, you know, that are like me in the sense of how I could be when I'm mad or angry and just, you know, a lot of things could get fixed in different ways and situations. Hey, let me tell you, it's not easy because my <laughs> attitude... My attitude, my mama can't even stop my attitude. Mm -hmm. I've been working on that, you know, but it's it's a process. And I believe that I could be a better person and better, um, especially when I'm upset, you know. And I'm upset. <laughs> Nobody tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. Not you, 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 you. You know, like. For real. For <laughs> real. <laughs> so. It's a journey. And I'm excited. I'm excited for what God has in store. And, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm like the opposite. 
I be vibing. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I be getting in my own stuff, but I be chilling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like good. that. Yep. You. She's getting it, guys. She's it's, getting it. Yeah. It's a start, you know, to something. You know, to take a different approach. It's something I've always wanted to do, it, but I never took, like, the initiative to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say this, say that, that, oh, I want to do this. I have, like, goals that I've written down, like, two, three years ago. And, and then I always kept the same goals because the year prior, I never accomplished some of the goals on the list. So I'm like, you know what? This year, I got to mm, tighten that shit up, uh, you know? Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I can't be having the same goals as I did last year <laughs> and not accomplish it, you know? And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. You know? So, everybody got their own thing they need to work on, though. Mm-hmm. And when we talk about poly, you know, it's... There's good and there's bad times. It's easy and it's hard. There's... there's It's not always peaches and cream. I always tell everybody that. I don't care how anybody feels or what you see or what... Like, it ain't always peaches and cream. It's how you handle the situation, how you manage it, how you go about it, you know? Like... Yeah, even the people online, they be like, they be loving us. They be like, oh my God, I love y'all vibe together. Which it, it is, like, it's real what you see online. But, you know, like, nobody, we don't always be on the same page about everything. Yeah. Like, for the most part we do, but not always. So, there is times where, like, we do disagree with each other or we do have, you know, our little stuff. But we work it out. Like you should in every relationship. Let's work it out. We <laughs> want to work it out. <laughs> yeah, so since we're on that topic. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Wait, what topic? I was working it out. So. Go ahead, you got your little five minutes. Uh, uh, <laughs> we got five minutes. Okay, let me, let me squeeze in here. <sighs> So, yeah, y'all heard what they just said, right? So here's the thing. Poly women are positive. You can talk to a lot of other women that's not have been monogamous that, that you got to mold, train, or take out their ways. Nobody, no man should handle a woman. I say this from this for at this point on. If any man have to handle a woman, leave her. It's a waste of your fucking time. It's not going to get you nowhere. It's not going to help you. It's not going to... It's not going to bring you satisfaction. You're never going to change it. They have to change themselves. And by the time they feel like they need to change themselves, it's already too late mentally for you. They have to really double up or step up to the plate to do these type of things. You got what Steph said. She's working on herself. She's doing this and she's doing that. We could have gave up years ago, but kept going. So she's working on it. I could have left. She could have left. We could have did this. Dad, she said she's the opposite. So she just be chilling, but she just got her own way sometimes. She must have talking to her close friends, y'all. So, with that being said, regardless, I know everything. <laughs> and I don't be giving a fuck because at the end of the day, you're going to learn. So, poly women are positive. They're just not there yet. They learning, though. You feel me? So, don't don't judge us off our, our mistakes or our things that we do because they know not what they do. I spoke about this in the Bible. We understand this. My only point is, when you go to any Muslim family, any... Arab family, any family that is poly, they don't have problems. But the women, one hundred percent, get along. But but they're also raised on that, you know. It's not like I just we said were that. raised. It's the first we thing I just said. When that, you're trying to teach a mold, yeah, yeah, they're raised on morals, morals. integrity. Mm -hmm. They're raised on positivity, love, not just selfishness and uh, not listening. You feel me? Because there shouldn't have been no issues in our relationship. From the get-go. So when you go back to when she said, oh, it, it don't matter. It's always some problem with blase, squase. The reality, no, because you make the problems. You understand? Because she just mentioned prior to that why she make the problems. What she's trying to learn. So I'm not saying anything wrong, but she just admitted to it. She just literally said her issues. So those issues transpire into the relationship. You take those issues away, you don't have issues in the relationship. So you got to make sure you understand growth. She's learning, though. If, if we didn't stick it through, we didn't make it better, we didn't do this or figure it out or whatever the case may be, then guess what? She'll be learning 
somewhere else, like Des mentioned, mm -hmm. about just an overall aspect. And then where are you? You're trying to do what you could have did for your last. <laughs> you don't want to be saying in a relationship worried about your first family and stuff. I'll tell you that. What you want to do is fix where you at because clearly the first wasn't even there for you. So you got to make sure you understand you was able to build what you built, not from the first, but from where you are now, where you're able to say that, hey, let me think about this. Because you go all the way back to the beginning, it ain't peaches and cream where you was. If you think about where you at and you feel like you could have did this in your last relationship, that's where you fucking up at. They're not the same. You was able to have more free time to even think about this type of stuff before you had no free time to think about anything to be better. So you were stuck in your own scenario. You became a product of your environment. It's just that simple, man. So I'm finna get the up out of here to make sure y'all understand. Subscribe, like, comment, please share it because these are some very, very I'm sorry. Oh. wisdom words <laughs> that you can learn. No, she. Here, she's just that's she just yeah. Anyways, but at the end of the day, focus on what you need to focus on. Make your unit better. Make your unit stronger. Get over the bullshit. Focus on the new shit. Keep grinding. Put the past in the past, and understand what's in front of you before it's not there anymore. Regardless, handle your business. Love is love, man. God dang. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. You know what it is. It's yeah. that Polly Daily Talk. Mm -mm -mm. If y'all want to know anything else specific that y'all want us to talk about, comment, let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Toodles, toodles, noodles. Mm -hmm. I don't want this gold up on my wrist. I want them diamonds on me glistening. If you ain't talking money, motherfucker, I ain't listening. You gotta die to get some recognition. You don't get respect if you ain't toting on no pistons. You can listen. We both believe we ain't the same. I know real shooters can't be with no lane. Yeah, you want the money and I know you want the fame. But you can't have that shit if you don't even know the game. I'm just saying.